peace, love, and light to all the queen goddesses, to all the beautiful, lovely star seas, to all my fellow king gods and see the god in me. I see you. I truly love you, my people. This video right here is I want to give my theory on the spacecrafts that not only am I catching, but other people are catching across the globe that are in the upper atmosphere that are partially cloaked, uh, that change colors and shapes, and that they are letting out a gas like the chemtrail planes, but the gas is dissipating in the air as it's letting out. Now, when you know a chemtrail plane, uh, clearly you can record that and see that clearly. But when a chemtrail plane let out their fumes, the selenium, strontium, and barium, it starts to widen up and cover the sky like a blanket. Now, these uh, partially cloaked crafts that are letting out those fumes out the back of their out, out the back of those crafts, though those fumes dissipate. They don't stay in the upper atmosphere. You don't see them anyway. So, this is my theory on this. Now, I believe that those crafts that are partially cloaked, that change colors, that are and shapes, that are letting out those fumes, those crafts are letting out fumes that are eating away at the upper atmosphere. And you have the chemtrail planes that spray slentium, um, strontium, and barium in the sky to combat that. Now, this is the reason why I believe in my theory. Now, you don't have to follow me. You can do the research and you come up with your own theory and let's share ideas. But this is the reason why I believe in my theory. Now, anyone knows the higher you go, it's supposed to get colder. The higher the altitude, the colder it gets. Well, let me say this to you, my people. In the upper atmosphere, it's like 160, 170, on average, 180. That's the upper atmosphere. Ground level is cooler than the upper atmosphere. So I'm saying this is close to the ground. I'm talking about this is why you see airplanes flying so low. So I'm saying about 40 to 45,000 feet in the sky, it's about 170 to 180 degrees. And this is why they're spraying the chemtrail um, planes. It's, and it's mainly near the sun. Not only just to block and um, our star family and to detect where they at, but also to stop the UVA, the UVB, and the UVC from hitting Earth at the at the at the frequency that is hitting it. If you like now, my people, if you put your arm out underneath the sky, out underneath the sun, it don't make a difference how hot it is outside. Whatever they tell you, the temperature is 90 degrees, 60 degrees, minus 60 degrees. If you put your arm right now out underneath the sun, the rays feel completely different on your skin so you can can you imagine how mother earth feel with those new frequencies that are coming from the natural sun and its binary twin can you imagine how mother earth feel like i stated to you this is only my theory you understand and i won't mind sharing ideas with people you know come up with you, you know let me know how you feel about this i'm telling you that those partial partially cloaked uh crafts that change color shapes and they and they, they let out that that those fumes out the back of it as it's going across the sky. Those fumes are eating away at the upper. Excuse me, they are eating away at the ozone layer. And you have the chemtrail planes trying to combat that by spraying selenium, strontium, and barium up in the sky to stop that 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 heat from hitting Earth's surface. It's, in, it's you can't tell me. You have to explain to me why 35, 40,000 feet in the sky. It's 150, 180, 170 degrees up there. You have to explain that to me. And until you, give, until you can give me that answer, that's my theory, my people. Peace, love, and light to all the queen goddesses, to all the beautiful, lovely star seeds, to all my fellow king gods who see the God in me. I see you. I truly love you, my people.